Come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. This is a video about how I have been blocking my spiritual growth and the steps that I've taken to get back on path. And hopefully you're watching this and it might help you see where you're blocking your spiritual growth too. Because at the time you don't really realize what's happening. So for me, I think the first thing that I really noticed was that I was pushing myself along a path that was very resistant. And I guess it's resistant for a reason, right? Nothing's moving. So, and I think because of this, that path became pretty grueling. I was trying to work uh, to a timetable that I just couldn't keep up with. And it was getting overwhelming and I was getting overtired. And then, you know, several times I found myself getting sick. I'd, it would be like, you know, once a month at least, I would find myself just, I got nothing left, no energy left. Are you finding that you're there? Let me know in the comments below. Like, are you finding yourself, you've just got nothing left? And you feel like you have to be on this path because for me i'm a mom and i had to work to pay bills what could i do you know i just had to keep trying but the universe kept saying no jen jen and stopping me making me sick and forcing me to stop so where are you finding that the universe is saying no, uh, uh, it's time for you to stop have a good think about it so how I dealt with that was I took time off work and that was not going to be easy because I got bills to pay I'm a mom like I said so the universe gave me a little option there and I mean, luckily I'm a tarot reader, so it's difficult to read for yourself, but something that kept coming up for me was a little offer's gonna come in. Take it. And it was, it was just a little offer. Uh, my friend needed her dogs walking because the regular dog walker had hurt their back. And we'll pay you this to walk our dogs. And I was like, you know, I don't wanna be inside in the summer. I wanna be out in the sun. I want to walk barefoot in the grass, touch trees, you know, get back to nature, walking dogs. So I did, I stopped making videos and started walking dogs and just two of them. And uh, I really got back to nature and thought and had time to meditate and ground myself because you know walking in grass touching trees is a pretty good way to ground yourself so that is one way that i found myself back on the path of my spiritual growth and then it's sort of having that time where i wasn't pushing myself so hard i also could see from another perspective of other things in my life that were just making me so unhappy. So I decided to end challenging relationships, not the romantic relationships, but you know, friendships. And I decided to end those that were uh, having a negative effect on my life, made me feel anxious um and stressed to be around these people so i ended these relationships and whew, wow that was life-changing having not <clears throat> having those 
people and their negative energy bringing me down all the time? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Um, how you feel about that? Do you feel like you're ready to let go of those relationships in your life that are difficult for you? It wasn't easy for me, but I have to say, had I known how the, the massive effect it would have on my spiritual growth and happiness, I would have done it a lot sooner. I left social media. I'm not, I mean, I, I still have all the accounts, but I, I, I'm not looking. I left Instagram, TikTok, um, what else? Facebook. I'm, I'm not looking at them. I'm not worried about who's doing what, who's sending messages. I'm, I don't care. And wow. Wow, that has had a huge impact on my spiritual growth. Um, I started to have this time on my hands to think about what do I want? Where, you know, I'm really happy. I, I realized how happy I actually am. Whereas before I actually didn't think that I was happy and having this time to myself, I realized that I'm actually really happy in the now. And um, something that, that rather helped that uh, come about, um, there, I listened, listened to an audiobook, uh, Eckhart Tolle, uh, The Power of Now. Very good. Check it out. And um, I started to realize how happy I actually am. And I started to dream, like, what in my life doesn't make me happy? Where do I want to be instead? So, you know, my dream house. And, you know, I've, I've designed it in my mind now. And I even named it, you know. I know where it is. I know exactly where it is. I know what the view looks like. And I'm just so happy thinking about it every day and manifesting it and dreaming about it. And I've started to live as if. So how would I live my life if I were there already? I've just started to live my life already as if doing what I would were I there. And yeah. I'm really happy. So I guess in the end, there's not been a lot that I had to change in my life. Little things that gave me more time to figure things out. You know, I, I now that I'm not sticking to this grueling timetable, I have more time for me. I have more time to play as a mom with my kid, you know, just enjoying this wonderful time together instead of saying, I gotta finish this, I'm sorry I can't come and watch TV with you or play Jenga. She likes to play Jenga. <laughs> you know, so now I've got this time and it's wonderful and I'm happy. And there's gonna be a few changes to my channel um because i'm gonna do it for me not because i feel like i have to stick to a schedule or a timetable or i guess those are the same thing or making content that other people want me to make i'm doing it for me so let me know in the comments below how you're doing where you feel like your path of high resistance is and uh, let's talk let's let's see if we can help you find ways of uh, changing that and getting back on path thank you for joining me see you later